everyone it's Eleanor here from eleanorjado.com welcome back to my channel I'm so happy to have each and every single one of you here today this is the channel that is all about natural hair beauty and the art bit of lifestyle so if that is what you're into go ahead and click that subscribe button right now also hit the notification bell so that you can get notified every time I upload a video so today I've got this everyday simple makeup look for you guys this morning I posted on my insta stories and I asked you guys what type of look you would prefer from me so either a simple everyday drugstore look or a more glammed up drugstore look and by far you guys opted for a simple everyday look so that is what I have for you guys a couple of weeks ago I posted my drugstore haul video as well if you haven't watched that video go ahead and watch it right now because in today's tutorial I'm going to be using all the products well most of the products that I showed you guys in that video so if you'd like to see how I created the simple everyday makeup look carry on watching Okay, so let's do this. I'm going to start by moisturizing my face with Shea Moisture's Radiance Moisturizer for dull skin. This step is really, really nice. So I'm just going to make sure I work it in everywhere. Then I'm going to prime my face with an Allegol Pro Prep High Definition Smoothing Face Primer. And um, I really just like to use this on my nose and on kind of my cheek area just next to my nose because I really want my pores to look a little bit smaller that's that's the main reason why I use a primer okay and I don't know if you can see a difference with that but um, if I look closely yeah it does make a little bit of a difference not hugely but a little bit of a difference okay so next we're gonna move on to brows and for brows, I'm going to use the Essence Eyebrow Designer Pencil. Actually, I'm going to use two products, but I'm going to start off with the Essence Pencil. And I basically just work with my natural shape. I don't ever really try to do anything too drastic with my brows. I just like to get a nice defined look. Then I'm going to go in with the Revlon Color Stay Brow Pencil, and this is in black. And I like using both of these together because then I just kind of get the, the color that I really, really want. Um, the brown one is too light and the black one on its own is just too dark. So I'm just going to go over this brown with a black. Okay, next I'm just going to clean up my brows and I'm going to use the Allegal Pro Conceal High Definition Concealer. So I like to just put it on my hand like that. And then I'm going to take my flat brush and then I'm just going to dip it in and clean up my brows okay I definitely feel that I made my left eyebrow too thin compared to the right one but it's okay I'm gonna come back and fix it later for now I'm just gonna brush them out a little bit Next we're going to move on to color correcting and for color correcting I use the orange uh, Pro Conceal High Definition Concealer, Ally Girl, um, nothing new you guys have seen me do this before. This one just works so well for that and I don't use a lot but it does make a difference so just a little bit goes a long way and that's just going to cancel out some of that very dark under eye. And then I'm going to take my little sponge and I'm just going to work this in. And because I have a little bit of extra left on my sponge, I'm just going to apply some here around my mouth because I have a little bit of discoloration here as well. So, you know, why waste? might as well use it all now for foundation we're going to move on to the maybelline fit me new york matte poreless foundation guys this foundation is amazing i've been using it almost every day for the last week or since i bought it and um it's just it's really so nice so i'm just going to apply it straight to my brush just like that and then i'm going to dab it all over And I kind of like to work on the bottom half of my face first. I don't know why. Don't ask me why. It's just kind of 
what I do, but but I have been so pleasantly surprised with this foundation. It's really, really good. It's matte. It is almost poreless. I can barely see any of my pores when I've got this on. And the shade 332 is absolutely perfect for me. This foundation is completely buildable. So if you want a more full coverage look, just apply a second layer. I think I'm kind of sticking to one, maybe one and a half layers. We shall see. And I like to do my under eye area last. This way it just gives the, um, the concealer, the color correcting concealer time to really sit under my eye. So I don't know if you can actually see, but it just, it leaves such a nice flawless finish. I'm just going to bring the foundation right up into my hairline. Because sometimes you can see that marked difference between your scalp, you know, the color of your scalp and the color of your foundation. So I like to just bring it right up in there. And of course down my neckline. I am so in love with this foundation guys and I didn't expect that like honestly I'm shook because I think it's only 99 Rand um, in pounds I think it's about I don't know eight pounds nine pounds ten pounds it's really good for the price I have to say I'm pleasantly pleasantly surprised okay so for concealer I'm gonna use the LA girl pro conceal again my shade is cool tan so it is it's kind of my shade it's not a lot lighter than I am but it just does a really good job of getting rid of these under eye circles and I'm not too concerned about making that area under my eye too light for me it's just really more about concealing the under eye the dark under eye <laughs> honestly for me it really is the dreaded under eye I just I cannot stand it you know we all have like our little weaknesses or our little insecurities. For me, my dark under eye circles is a major insecurity. So I like to just cover that baby right up. So then I'm gonna take my damp beauty sponge and I'm just gonna dab this in. So I know this is an everyday simple makeup tutorial um, but I am going to use a little bit of eyeshadow so what I like to do to make my eyeshadow pop a little bit more is to just take my concealer and to work it all the way up over my eyelid area and this is going to provide a really nice blank canvas to make your eyeshadow pop. So I don't take any extra concealer, I just take the little bit that's left on my sponge and work that over my eyelid my eyelids okay there is one area where I am gonna cheat a little bit because I bought the NYX studio photogenic HD studio blah, finishing powder and I don't like it I do not like it it is just I think the main reason why I don't like it is that it just goes everywhere I tried using it a few times and it just like it just ended up everywhere all over my all over my beauty area and yeah I just I do not like it so I am gonna cheat here but it is my Laura Mercier translucent setting powder this stuff is so good and I always talk about it and I always rave about it but it is because it really is that good I don't ever use any other setting powder this is it so yeah for my under eye area this is what I'm gonna use and I don't really bake as such I just apply a little bit of powder make sure that's worked in and then a little bit more so I just kind of increase it bit by bit to make sure that my concealer doesn't crease under my eye and then I'm also gonna take a little bit and set the concealer on my eyelid so now I'm gonna move on to setting powder and I'm gonna use the essence mattifying compact powder I'm kind of using this as a like a bronzer slash contour powder not so much a setting powder but um, let's see how this is gonna work yeah it works <laughs> let's blend this baby in I really like just bringing the color back into my face 
because as much as foundation smooths out your complexion it does take away all the dimension all the light all the dark areas so it's nice to just bring that back with a bit of bronzing powder or in this case setting powder it makes such a difference it's subtle but it's there you guys think I slightly overdid it in this area okay let's just blend this right out it's weird on camera there's such a deep area of definition but when I look at myself in the mirror as well as in my little mirror it's actually not so pronounced and I'm not sure why it's showing up so hectically <laughs> on camera but we're gonna roll with it for now okay so then we're gonna move on to blush and I was really excited about this blush because it's the Maybelline New York master blush color and highlighting kit and I love it because it's got these three three shades that go from kind of like a, a dusty pink to a more bright pink to a more like purpley color so I am just gonna sweep my brush over like that and I'm going to apply some blush to the apples of my cheeks sometimes I can go really overboard with a blush so I'm trying to just kind of check myself Okay, and then for highlight, I'm really excited about this highlight, everyone, because I'm using the Wet n Wild Mega Glow Highlighting Powder. And um, yeah, I've been seeing this all over and people are loving it. And when I bought it, I was like, why? Why is this so amazing? And then I started using it and I realized why it's so amazing. So I'm just going to use this to highlight the tops of my cheeks, just a little bit on the tip of my nose and then on the bridge of my nose. For eyes, I'm actually going to start off with the Essence Mattifying Compact Powder, so this one. I'm going to use this in my crease. So I'm just sweeping this in my crease. And the reason I'm using this is because it's a light brown, but kind of similar to my, my skin color. Uh, slightly darker, and it's just bringing a little bit of definition to my crease. I like that. And then for my eyelids, I'm going to use this Yardley London um, Quad Eyeshadow. And I think I'm going to go for two shades. I'm going to go for these two at the bottom. So this like tanny color and this, um, it's like a brick rust color. So I'm going to use these two. So I actually think I'm going to mix them just because they're so pretty. I want the rust color, but I also want the flecks of gold. Of the, it's like a tan gold, I suppose. So anyway, I'm going to mix those two. <laughs> and I'm going to use this large fluffy brush to sweep the color across my eyelids. Wow, lovely, I really like that. And then I'm just gonna take a little bit of the Essence Bronzing Powder again to just help blend those shades in. Super easy eyeshadow, guys. Really, really easy, I love this. Okay, and then I'm gonna line my eyes very lightly and I'm actually gonna use a brown liner. And actually, it's not even an eyeliner, it's the eyebrow. <laughs> pencil that I used earlier but I like this brown it's not as harsh as black so let's just go in with that on my lower lid okay and then for mascara I'm going to use the Maybelline lash sensational lash multiplying mascara and um, yeah this mascara works okay it's I, I don't find it super amazing or anything it's just mascara it does its job I definitely have to apply a few layers of it but that's okay. You know what guys, I actually have to switch over to the Essence Lash Princess Mascara because um, the Lash Sensational from Maybelline isn't really doing, doing anything for me. So let's just go with that quickly. Okay, this mascara is really, 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 really nice. Wow, I have lashes. Okay, so the look is starting to look quite nice to me, every guys, and then to bring it all together, I'm going to be using a lipstick from Wet n Wild and it's in the shade Mocha Licious. So let's just apply that quickly. Oh, this is such a beautiful shade. And I really love this lipstick because it is so, so creamy and moisturizing. Hmm. So 
this is the final look everyone I've just added some earrings to kind of zhush things up a bit and put my hair back and I must say I really really like this final look what do you guys think shoo that um <laughs> contour and highlights kind of strong but it's all good you know you can still take elements of this look and make it work for an everyday look you can leave out the eyeshadow you can add the eyeshadow in you can leave out the the bronzing up bit or the highlight bit it's up to you that's the beauty of a tutorial yes it's a tutorial but you can take elements of it and you know just use the bits that work for you leave out the others that don't Okay guys, so why don't you go ahead and watch some of my other makeup videos. I will link it up in the cards for you. Um, so go ahead and watch these videos now. I've created a nice playlist for you guys. So you can just sit and binge watch those videos. And um, yeah, please follow me on Instagram. It would honestly mean the world to me at Eleanor Jador. That's my handle. So yeah, like I said, it would mean the world to me if you could check me out, guys. I do lots of natural hair looks, tutorials, um, some uh, little bits of motivation motivational type of posts and beauty posts and yeah that's about it so thanks so much for watching and i will see you in my next video bye